the breasts work separately. And so it's important that the baby be fed on both breasts so that both breasts will make a similar amount of milk. When you are feeding your baby, you want to start off with the first breast and let the baby get that nice for milk, the nice watery milk, and as the fat content increases, the baby will continue to feed, and you want to let the baby get as much of that hind milk as they want. At the end of the feed, the baby will find that the milk is rich and creamy, and they won't want any more. And so when a baby is finished at the breast, they may come off the breast, they may fall asleep, or they may start to do little suckles and they don't want to trigger a letdown reflex. What you can do is you can take the baby off at that time. When taking the baby off the breast, it's always a good idea to break the latch by putting your finger into the baby's mouth and breaking the suction. You wouldn't want to pull the baby off the breast in any other way or it would, could damage the nipple and be very painful. Once the baby is finished on the first breast, you want to burp the baby. And it's always nice to try to burp the baby. Many breastfed babies will not burp. It's not the same as giving the baby a bottle where they take in a lot of air, but it's still um, a good thing to, to give the baby an opportunity should they have any air in their system. And then you want to offer the second breast because this breast will now have the nice uh, for milk, the watery milk. Think of a time that you've had two donuts and you've had enough fat and you just want something to wash that down so you go for a glass of milk or a glass of water. Well, it's similar for the baby. On the first breast, they had the hind milk and now they wanna wash that down with some fore milk. So you always wanna offer the second breast. These lucky little guys always get dessert offered and sometimes they will take the second breast and sometimes they won't. But the important thing is to offer it because only they know what they want and they tell us by their behavior at the breast. So when the baby suckles on the second breast, they may take the fore milk, and then they may decide that they want more of that hind milk. And so they may feed just as much off the second breast, if not more. And sometimes the babies will finish the second breast and wanna go back to the first. Another thing to remember is you always want to start on the opposite breast. The reason for that is that each breast is its own system. And so you want to have the baby suckling on the breast when the baby is most hungry because that will give the best stimulation. So you want to try to remember which breast you started on last. Some people may put a bracelet on their arm to indicate the, the breast that they started on at the last feed. Other people may put a pillow on a chair that they like to sit on breastfeeding. I had a friend and she, she named one of her breasts chocolate and the other vanilla, and that's how she remembered. So whatever it is that works for you. But this isn't something to worry about. If you forget, oftentimes you'll feel fuller in one breast and that may be the best breast to start with.